Test, test, test. One, two, three. Hopefully it's popping up. Streaming, and it should be starting. Okay, cool. Fun. Okay, I'm going to take the headphones off. So um, I'm doing a little unannounced live stream right now. X, <laughs> you're quick. You're always here, almost always here, the first one on. Um, thanks for being here again. I'm sort of doing a little unannounced live stream right now just to uh, make a video to make an announcement for the next four live streams coming up. Okay, so this is going to be very quick. Uh, well, possibly very quick. I do want to expand. Uh, uh, hi, predatory. Predatory. How are you doing? Um, so just in case, I'll give another 30 seconds, just in case anyone else is popping. I wasn't expecting people to be popping up so fast. But um, basically, this is um, sort of an unannounced live stream, just to give you guys a little... Um, schedule for the next four live streams that we're going to do okay and basically hey man love your videos hope you're doing well man uh thanks brother i'm doing uh, very good nklv uh so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna give you the schedule for the next four live streams there's <laughs> someone else popping up as well hey chicho what's going on uh giving you guys a little announcement for the next four live streams that we're going to do uh so I think this is going to be a pretty pretty quick little uh, live stream, little update video or little announcement video. But there is something I want to expand on, so we might get into it a little bit. Uh, but I definitely want to leave the main core of the discussion to the scheduled time because I know some people will definitely want to participate in this if, they, if the, the people who are into comic books. Okay, so let me give you the schedule for this. On Sunday, March 11th, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pacific time, my time. Um, what we're going to do, I've titled this thing as Let's Talk About Conflict in Comics and the Comic Book Industry. Okay. C.T. Martin. C.T. C.S.T. Martin. Hi, brother. How you doing? Uh, so on Sunday, March 11th, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So a couple hours I put aside, but we can definitely go longer than that if need be. Uh, Pacific time, we're going to talk about conflict and comics. And basically what it is, is I was given the opportunity to sort of mod a workshop on conflict at a sort of a alternate school that's in town. So they gave me the uh, choice to choose mathematics or comic books so i decided to go with comic books because uh if you've been following the comic book industry there's a ton of conflict within the comic book industry within 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 companies within distribution within between artists artists and companies and whatnot right so uh <laughs> like them. so i'm going to expand on this one a little bit after i gave you the next uh three scheduled live streams right i'm gonna make sure that i um, have the links in the description of this video taking to the event announcement on twitch as well okay so sunday march 11th for a couple hours starting at 10 a.m pacific time we're going to talk about conflict and comics on tuesday march 13th from 12 p.m to 2 p.m it should probably take us a couple hours we're going to go into the kitchen and make some more food okay and uh, this one you guys uh, if you're vegetarian you're gonna love this we're gonna I sort of in the event uh, announcement on twitch I've listed the ingredients we're going to need but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some uh, a dish called cuckoo which is basically greens and eggs mixed together it sort of looks like thick like quiche like pancakes uh, so we're gonna make some cuckoo and we're gonna make a rice dish and the ingredients we're gonna need is listed in the annou event announcement on Twitch, but I'll read them out to you as well. Uh, we're gonna need lots of greens. What I've prepared, what I've gotten is lettuce, parsley, cilantro, dill, Italian parsley, green onions, and any other herbs that you wanna mix in there. We're gonna chop it all up and mix it up. We're gonna need lots of eggs. I'm gonna have at least a dozen with me, okay? We can use mushrooms too, so I might include mushrooms as well. Um, 
that's for the cuckoo dish and we're also going to need flowers baking soda salt and pepper pepper optional and obviously coconut oil or butter or whatever or olive oil olive oil is probably best for the greens olive oil for the cuckoo dish and for the date dish we're just going to need uh, rice dates cranberries and raisins okay chicho got his glasses on this must be a math video <laughs> actually there is a math video the third live stream that we're going to do is going to be on uh, or it's an announcement for the math video is on wednesday march 14th from 3 30 p.m to 5 30 p.m pacific time my time and it's just going to be the same um same deal as last time when we did the live uh when we did the live stream for the math open discussion right almost anything goes come with your questions if you know anyone that ha needs a little bit a little bit of help in high school mathematics you know send them to the live stream and i'm going to try to answer questions as they come up and again as before we're not going to cover statistics if any stats comes up we're going to do basic statistics and we're going to stay away from commutators and permutations okay uh, hi Wabin, how you doing? Uh, thanks for popping by. As for the fourth live stream, uh, what I've titled it is, uh, let's play backgammon. Okay, as you know, I love backgammon and I love gaming in general. And uh, backgammon is one of the games that I'm, I consider myself to be very, very, very good at. Okay, I've played with, I don't know how many people over the years. We've played for fun, we've played for money. Uh, I've played in insider tournaments and stuff like this, and I've done quite well. I'm, I'm a pretty good backgammon player, so what I wanna do is just show you guys my game and some of the things you have to think about when you're playing backgammon and some of the combinations that you do have and some of the things you have to consider, okay? So we'll do a little bit of intro stuff and then we'll probably get into it pretty heavy duty and just start rolling dice and i'll show you some combinations and maybe i'll play both sides to show you how a game goes how i would play each game right or play one game at least with me playing both sides so you can see how i play against someone and how i would play against myself i guess right so those are the four live stream announcements for next week sunday march 11th starting at 10 a.m we're going to talk about conflict and comics Tuesday, March 13th, starting at noon, we're going to go back in the kitchen and make some food. Wednesday, March 14th, 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, open discussion on math. And on Thursday, March 15th, at 2 p.m. Pacific time, I forgot to give you guys a time, 2 p.m. Pacific time, we're going to go play backgammon. And the link to all the events, um, all these live streams schedule live streams i'm going to put in the description of this video and there'll be a little description on twitch that you can read and find a specific time and try to coordinate um, if it works for your schedule if it works for your schedule you turned on a subscriber is nice <laughs> yes i did i finally figured it out there was a lot of a lot of things i had to fill out to get the subscribers going on twitch but it's fun to be on it it's really nice to be on it actually um, I'm, I'm loving this Twitch experience, really. The community is very tight, and uh, I love the way the interaction is, and it sort of keeps me on my toes. What are we cooking? On uh, We're going into the kitchen on Tuesday, and we're going to make some uh, a dish called cuckoo. It's a Persian dish, and we're going to make a rice dish, sort of a sweet rice, rice dish that I like eating, sort of a soothing rice, rice dish that I have. I remember watching a video of you playing backgammon with your grandmother and she called you. <laughs> People, no, no, well, I won't translate that word, but yes, she does call me that if we make mistakes in backgammon, right? Um, as far as the first live stream goes, I just want to expand on that a little bit because, uh, uh, and that's going to be on Sunday, March 11th, okay? So as I said in the intro, I I've been given the opportunity to host a little workshop in a local independent school in town here and they gave me the choice to choose uh, the topic is basically this let me let me read you the little description um, that i wrote up here so 
I've been asked to participate, participate in a workshop designed to explore the concept of conflict, okay? This is geared for high school students, and I decided to delve into the realm of comics, right? I could have gone into mathematics as well. The purpose of the workshop is to, is to explore conflict in five ways, with each approach having pros, cons, and appropriate times to use them, okay? The approaches are ignore, accommodate, concede, compromise, compete, demand, or collaborate, okay? And here's a little thing, conflict. Uh, purpose here's a little write-up a uh, little graphic I made so you can see what exactly the workshop is about what nationality is your grandmother my grandmother's uh, Armenian um, Persian Armenian Georgian <laughs> from there and me being Persian Iranian Armenian Canadian and basically we migrate uh, sort of uh, generational Roma right uh, but basically as far as the live stream on uh, Sunday goes March 11th this is basically what you see popped up on the screen is what the workshop is about right explore uh, explore conflict in five ways specifically ignoring accommodating conceding compromise compete demand uh, compromising competing or demanding or collaborating right and we're gonna look at what the pros the cons are for each of these and when would be an appropriate time to use them right and I've done a little brainstorming on this and that's what I want to do on Sunday I want to expand on maybe some of the things that I've written here and just to see what else might pop up what ideas you guys have and what we can do for the Sunday live stream we can just treat this as our own live stream workshop right sort of a test run for me before i go into the classroom that would be fantastic if you if you guys would be into participating in that right and i will definitely take suggestions and if there's anything that people point out that we can talk about i will definitely add that to my list and expand that or even just focus on it and uh, just to give you an idea here's the topics that i've come up with okay possible topics that we could discuss or instigate in the workshop to let the kids sort of take over and see what they come up with right one of them is the concept of purists versus tourists and i've done a you know i've written up my printer is still on the on the glitch and i've written up some stuff on how this can progress so let me just give you a little lowdown on this the topic of purists versus tourists specifically what i mean is this and i wrote this up so let me read this to you so i don't make any mistakes or skip anything right so purists versus tourists many of the characters in the comic medium uh, have been around for a long time and as a result there has been numerous adaptations of their stories this has given rise to a tremendous amount of conflict between fans and creators as to which stories are considered to be canons and which ones should be considered alternate reality events. Okay. This conflict, to a certain degree, has been dubbed as the battle between purists and tourists. And I don't know if people use this. It's sort of something that's come up between conversations between myself and other people and some people that I've heard or forums that I've read those who so pure uh, purists versus tourists those who insist that the characters stay true to the original source material versus those that are that can accept a reimagining of the universe or who are not aware of the reference source material right so those of us or those I should say those of us because some things I agree with some things I don't uh, regarding adaptations but those of us who see a TV show or a movie or a different run by done by a different uh, creative team that take a character and change it reimagine it according to what they think should happen right and the three examples that I would be into that I, you know just have popped into my mind that we can explore further on this one of them is the comic book. I don't know if anyone's read it. Uh, I read it and it blew me away. And I've seen the movie and I love the movie as well. And it's called The History of Violence. Okay. If you haven't 
seen the movie or read the comic book, I would recommend seeing the movie first and then reading the comic book. And specifically, there's one thing I want to reference, uh, consider regarding history of violence, and that is basically how brutal the comic book was uh, in relation to how brutal the movie was, because the movie was very, very toned down. The comic book is much, much more brutal, much more hardcore than the movie. The movie I loved, it was fantastic, but there is something that happens in the comic book which the movie could not touch okay and if you've seen both the movie and the comic book you probably know what i'm talking about um, the other one that we could definitely explore is the watchman by alan moore how the comic book ended and how the movie ended how the movie adapted the concept and how the comic book adapted the concept and the other one which uh, uh which is more recent and more, more popular i guess would be regarding the most recent spider-man movie specifically in relation how they treated spider-man as iron man really being being the the person that gave the technology to peter parker instead of peter parker coming up with his own webs and and whatnot right so that's one thing we could discuss purist versus tourist the other one we could discuss is censorship as far as censorship goes, here's what I've written regarding censorship. Many people are not aware that the comic book industry has only recently freed itself from a multi-decade self-imposed censorship regime. This censorship began in the 1950s and lasted for decades, pitting companies and creators versus regulators. A conflict that has played out on multiple fronts. Even though the censorship resulted in the stifling of innovation it also acted as a catalyst giving birth to the dominance of the superhero genre as well as empowering independent publishers and creators forcing them to be diligent gaming the system as best as they could okay many independent creators and companies such as image dark horse valiant fantagraphic and numerous others have found success functioning outside of the census outside the censorship constraints and many ha have thrived because of it there could be much to explore in regards to conflict in this topic right and this is sort of me writing this little paragraph as sort of a, a um, just a layout for the administration for the people that are in charge of this um, this workshop to give them an idea of what i plan on discussing a history of violence by john wagner is it john wagner that did it i don't know i haven't dug down to see who the, who the creative team was for history of violence but it was fantastic and the movie was uh, cronenberg i believe was directing and i love cronenberg right the third topic that we can discuss regarding conflict is intellectual property in quotation marks obviously uh, this is probably one of the most contested concepts and this is a little write-up I wrote up to send to the administration this is probably one of the most con contest contested concepts in our society at the moment and has been playing out in the comic book industry for decades and it is worth exploring exploring in regards to conflict how should investing in a project be rewarded versus the rights of the creators? Jack Kirby versus Stan Lee to Alan Moore versus DC could be used as examples, as an example, as just a stepping stone to explore this topic further. If the kids do show interest in this, I could definitely lay down the foundation for an open discussion as need be. I really didn't want to go too much into intellectual property. I don't, I don't know if people will be, if the kids will be interested in that. I think they will be more interested in um, in censorship and how uh, the different stories play out versus the original content and stuff like this. So we'll leave that open. If you guys have ideas and stuff like this, definitely the comic code, how that played out, we could explore that. But I really don't want to... Uh, give a lesson what I want to do is plant seeds for the kids to discuss so I don't know how much information they will have regarding intellectual property good evening good day Chicho good morning from my end good evening to you uh, 
double elvis nice name nice name the fourth topic that we could discuss regarding conflict okay and how those five points five ways could play out is heroes versus villains obviously and that is basically focusing on the stories and the characters in the comic books and how they interact with their arch nemeses i guess right and the little write-up i had for this is one of the most obvious paths we could take to discuss conflict would be to explore the actual characters in comics the dynamics of heroes and villains and how they do uh, how they do and how how they do and should interact with each other and why many of them have a symbiotic relationship the obvious example we could use use to open the discussion would be batman because batman is one of the characters that uh, batman and spider-man are two main characters that you know most about and i think most content has been created on okay and i continue with the sort of a little description we could also instead of comparing heroes and villains look at the different philosophies of heroes and how they choose to function in society and deal with their demons both external and internal and how society regards them the obvious example with this would be batman versus superman and that's the that's basically the one i would focus on if the kids decide to go down that path and how batman being on the darker side deals with things as a as opposed to Superman, how Superman looks at the, at the positive aspect of human beings and Batman are always plans for the worst things to come out uh, with human beings and how he can play, how he can work that out into his, I guess, crime fighting for lack of a better word, right? His existence, okay? Uh, so those are the next four live streams uh, that I've got planned out and uh, the first one is definitely going to be the comic book one which we're going to do on sunday march 11th from 10 a.m to 12 p.m okay uh for a couple hours and if need be we'll explore that further and what you see on your screen the top one explore conflict in five ways that's what the purpose of the workshop is going to be for the live stream sort of doing a test run for me as well because the next day on monday i'm going to go to the school and conduct the same type of workshop uh, sort of open discussion uh, for the students and it's only uh, slotted for an hour so we only have an hour to do discuss do this discussion regarding conflict and the bottom the possible topics is what i've come up with so far and I'm definitely open to more ideas or even just focusing down on one of these concepts and building nice content so I can sort of segue students depending on what they decide to talk about, um, sort of directing them down certain paths where they can, you know, the discussion can grow, right? Lord Iskel, hey Chicho, I just joined in. Did I miss anything? Um, this is just going to be a quick little stream, brother or sister. And this was sort of a stream of me giving an announcement for the next scheduled four live streams, which I'm going to um, also link up in the description of this video once I load it up to BitChute and YouTube. And if you go, if you're on my Twitch page right now, which you are because you're watching live, or if you go on my uh, Twitch page, you'll see the events listed if you scroll down a little bit uh they're all scheduled and for some reason they don't schedule them it doesn't pop up uh chronologically it just pops up as i've added them so the first one we're going to do is march 11th and then we're going to do three days in a row march 13th march 14th and march 15th march 11th comic book discussion march 13th we're going to cook some food march 14th we're going to do mathematics and March 15th, we're gonna play backgammon. Chicho versus Chicho with a little discussion on backgammon of uh, how I play my game, right? I'm gonna take off these little things on here. Boop. And uh, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much everyone for popping by real quick. Sorry, this is gonna be a quick one, quick little live stream, but I think this is the pattern, the rhythm I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna do unannounced uh, live streams just to announce 
the next scheduled live streams and give you guys a little info a little more info regarding the streams just in case uh, if they're going to be open discussions where we can you know if you want to do a little research and we can sort of build things up right have a good one brother you too man you too thanks for the update my pleasure man my pleasure thank you for being here okay and uh, for those of you who can make the live streams any of those four days all of those four days i hope you can make it it should be fun it should be fun i'll try to make sure everything's uh, working properly and have uh, nice little pop-ups show up uh, as need be especially for the recipe for the cooking stuff okay that's it for now guys uh, i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now hey chicho hope you're doing well buddy see you on the 11th thanks chicho my pleasure man see you on the 11th